be also the destiny because we have our own plans but life has its own plans right you may be somebody today you're saying ki main to job hi karunga ya job hi karungi and in the future something happens and you will be like okay let's open my own practice and let's do it right Hello friends welcome welcome back to my channel I am CS Jaspreet I hope you all are doing well and enjoying your weekend or probably studying in your weekend for June 2020 two exams so welcome back to another special fun saturday video as these videos are really really helpful informative education and guiding you towards your career path as well today in this video i will be telling you five factors on which you can decide on should you go for a practice or a job once you qualify your ca cs cma or llb or any profession that gives you the privilege of having your own practice right so, but before that if you're new to my channel free free to check the content i create hit the subscribe button and the bell icon if you have not done it yet so that whenever i upload any video you get notified and from today's video i will be giving a shout out to one person who has commented on the previous video and i like the comment or i found it informative and interesting i would definitely definitely give a shout out to that person in today's video also i will give a shout out so make sure you watch the video till the end and make sure you leave a comment down below so that you get a shout out also so let's get start with the video so first factor is security nonetheless job gives you way more security than your own practice as we all know that job assures one specific amount that will be paid to you every month hum sabko pata hai job mein hame salary milti hai jo ki ek fixed amount hota hai and you know that you will be given that amount every month so that is something called the security if you are somebody paying a fixed amount of rent repaying a loan job will give you way more security than your own practice because you will know that i will be able to repay all these things i will be able to pay the expenses or you have the responsibilities in which you incur the expenses like that right so job bahut secure hai you know that you know job gives you that sense of security in terms of monetary at least the monetary security right if you want that kind of monetary security that you will definitely get in a job secondly patience of course in this factor i will prefer practice and practice needs way more patience than job because practice doesn't start from day one like we discussed in the earlier factor the monetary security that you get in job you know in job i'm getting a fixed amount of salary but in practice this never happens and especially in the initial days of the practice you need to keep that patience you need to be consistent with your work and you need to you know held back with the faith that yes one day everything will be okay one day i will establish myself but till then you need to have lots and lots of patience right which definitely in job in terms of monetary factors you are you know you are getting a fixed amount in your bank accounts which is giving you a security and you need to be and you need not to be patient or you need not wait for that monetary reward which of course in practice you have to wait till the time you're well established you will have to wait you will have to keep that patience and you have to be consistent with your work so that one day you can establish yourself third your spendings or your expenses like i told you now in the first factor when i told you that you are secure in terms of money in the second factor you need not to be patient in the third i will tell you that you can spend according to your earnings right this is how we all spend we all spend as and how we earn if right so if you know in a job i am getting this amount of salary for example i say uh, you fetch 50000 as salary so if you know that i am fetching 50000 as salary you know that you know i can pay a rent of suppose 10000 out of it i can i can uh, you know pay the bills and my grocery for example totaling to 10000 and this becomes 20000 so after spending 20000 also you still have 30000 and again you know for the next rent again you will get the next salary when i know that this much amount i'm getting in my hand i will spend for this month i will spend i will look for the expenses of this month this month i'll spend this much because next time definitely i will get the revenue also and then i can spend like that so this is for job for the people who are working in jobs but in practice it never happens like that some days it is feast and some days it is fast so you have to spend accordingly and you have to save more for the bad days as applicable to all the people who have their own firms who have their own businesses because what happens some days you will get more and some days you will get nothing so you have to save for the days when you get nothing it it is not like that in one month if you are getting too much then you spend too much and in the next month 
you don't get anything and you don't even have you know something to buy your necessities as well so this is the major difference between getting a fixed amount every month and getting you know uh, a good amount in one month and no amount in the other month so you have to hit that balance and if you are somebody you are like nahi mujhe to ek mahine mein you know itni spendings karni hai mujhe itni grocery leni hai mujhe itne kapde khareedni hai for example so in that way job will give you more happiness job job will job is always preferable because in practice you can't be like that right ki abhi bahut zyada aa gaya hai to usi tarike se lavishly spend kar lo and in the future you don't get anything and you don't have you know money to even buy the necessities you have to hit that balance you know that in between thing that if you are getting more you have to spend as well for the bad days for the days when you know when you'll not get that much of work so this is how a person who is in practice has to manage his expenses as well you can't really have that a regular kind of spending every month because you're not having a regular kind of earnings every month fourth is your social presence now you would have made the difference between the people if you are a cs and if you know the people from cs fraternity or the people who have their own practices you would see the way they, they their approach is in the society their social presence even if you will meet them somewhere you will find them to be very you know humble very uh, very approachable easily accessible their communication skills will be the best because they are somebody who deal with their clients on a regular basis when you are in job of course you need communication skills of course you should be approachable and you should have a good societal presence as well but what happens you have to deal with only your superiors and your inferiors right no, maybe in the big you would find it a little bit hesitant but then after a while they are the same people you are dealing with daily the same bosses the same inferiors so you need not show them anything new you need not impress them or you need not you know convince them for anything but when you are in practice you come across different people you come across different clients they have their different kind of nature even if you are working if you are hiring somebody they have different kinds of nature so you have to hit that balance you have to become that person who is not rude on the outside a person who has that capability to convince you know you should have that best communication skills in you so such people would be more approachable the moment you will talk to them you will you will feel that difference just talk to a person who is in job and talk to a person who has his own practice their versions will be different their approaches will be different the way they meet you the way they greet you is always different because that is how they have a kind of you know they they make their social presence in the society so that they have that good name that good reputation you know the the good societal uh, standards they have their ethics their manners would be you know the best so that is how a person who has his own practice a person who is running his own business would definitely work on his learning skills would definitely work on his best social presence as compared to the one who has a fixed job fifth and the most important is the risk taking power so if you're someone very sensitive to the risks occurring around you i would highly suggest you to go in job and not in practice because practice comes with a lot of hurdles it could be financial hurdles it could be emotional hurdles it could be other hurdles as well right so if you are somebody you don't have that risk taking power right because like i told you some days it'll be fees some days it'll be fast and you have to hit that balance between how are you earning how much are you earning how much are you spending you have to manage everything in your life and it's not that easy not at all you know after so many years when you come across people who have so many years of practice they are established maybe after that a person gets that sense of security but when you're new to this field when you're new to your own practice even when you're new to your practice at that point of time you need to have a lot of patience you need to take risks you know you need to interact with new people it takes a lot to reach a level where you know many people reach but after working hard for many many years after many many years so it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of risk and if you're somebody you know i have seen people who are very very sensitive who are very very i would say get scared of little teeny tiny things happening around their life so if you're somebody like that i would highly suggest you not to go into practice because that way you'll only be feeling stressed out all the time which definitely you don't want it is definitely a nature of a person nature also and sometimes i say also the destiny because we have our own plans but life 
लाइफ हैज इट्स ओन प्लान राइट यू वे बी समबडी टूडे यू आर सेंग कि मैं तो जॉब ही करूंगा या जॉब ही करूंगी एंड इन द फ्यूचर समथिंग हैपन्स एंड यू विल बी लाइक ओके लेट्स ओपन माई ओन प्रैक्टिस एंड लेट्स डू इट राइट सो दिस इज हाउ लाइफ गोज बट स्टिल इफ यू गेट अ चांस इफ यू गेट टू डिसाइड दीज आर द मेजर फैक्टर्स ऑन विच यू शुड डिसाइड इफ यू समबडी यू थिंक कि मेरा अपना ऑफिस हो मेरा अपना कैबिन हो यू नो मेरी अपनी चेयर हो तो ये सब कुछ मिल सकता है बस तरीके डिफरेंट डिफरेंट है इट कुड बी अचीव इन जॉब ऑल्सो इन अ गुड यू नो पोजिशन एज अ के एम पी यू नो इफ यू आर सी एस यू कैन बी अ के एम पी और इफ यू सी ए यू कैन बी सीईओ सी एफ ओ or in any other profession as well and it could be achieved that the way also you can have your own office as your own practice you know you you can be boss to many people as well right so this is how you should decide every person's approach mindset nature everything is really really different so analyze that analyze that are you secure enough are you okay are you patient are you do you have that risk taking ability and accordingly that decide for job or a practice these are the five basic factors that you should keep in mind while deciding that whether i'm going to go in job or i'm going to go in the practice so i hope this video helps you video achhi lage to like kar dena to subscribe to my channel if you have not done it yet and for today's video the shout out goes to devendra pal he is someone who never forgets to leave a nice comment on almost each of my videos so i really really appreciate his effort because i really feel that you know in a world where people are after each other in a world where people don't you know leave a point to criticize anybody or to you know say bad about other people there are people like him and people like you who always leave sweet and good comments for me and whenever i read them they make my day so you never ever underestimate your sweet comments or your dedications on an academy they always make my day and i always like reading them liking them hearting them and also responding them so keep commenting down below maybe in the next video shout out goes to you only so i'll see you in my next till then stay happy stay blessed and keep the preparations on bye